Well, hi, beautiful people. Listen to this. Do you hear that clicking sound? Oh my god, I love that sound. So, what am I filling my pens with? I'm using something called a poster putty. In our country and several countries in Europe it's called poster buddies but I believe on amazon.com you can find it under the name poster putty and I discovered this to be great to fill my pen with it's a little bit tricky to fill up your pen but once it's filled you don't have to refill as much and I know many of you like those special waxes and I must say I want to buy me one of those also. But I was just looking in my house because I'm working on a great uh, big big painting. And I was looking for something that would uh, need n not as much refilling as the other uh, waxes I have in my home. I've got this pink wax and it's really annoying i have to fill up my pen lots of time because i'm a hard-handed um how do you call it heavy heavy-handed um diamond painter so and then i thought yeah well i've got this those are poster buddies you know those are the reusable things you can squish and and uh, it's a little bit like clay, you can put them, um, but I, look, I, I fill up my pen with this. So, um, I want to say I'm sorry if uh, anybody else made a video about that. Uh, it's not my, my intention to steal your thunder, because, um, yeah, I'm just trying to find what's cheap and what works for me so if there's anyone else that has uh, something with poster poster putty or poster buddies I'm so sorry um, also what did I want to say it's just a short video but I feel like I wanted to say something else and now I've got this brain fart and I don't know what I was saying yeah anyway so um, you can get this uh, very cheap on Amazon or other stores maybe in your local hobby crafted store I don't know I got it from a, a shop that sells like these cheap articles and um, I don't know what I paid for it, but it wasn't much. So, um, it's not that I'm a cheapskate, but I want to have more money to buy diamond paintings, so I have to save a little bit of money on the tools I'm working with. So I'm still working with these normal pens. I must admit, I, I bought now, I bought one pen uh, that will be here in a few weeks, I believe, because I see everybody working with this great big pens and I wanted to try it out for myself. So, and something else about uh, saving some money. I went on Etsy and I was looking for something to hold several... Uh, several trays at once because this painting I'm working on oh my god it's nearly finished but it is confetti oh so much confetti so I was really bored of opening my boxes and closing them and taking another box and so I wanted something that 
was easy then i went on etsy and there i saw these wonderful trays uh wonderful like these little wooden boxes specially made for um diamond painting to put your trays on and there are boxes that can hold like up to 64 trays or even i've i saw one that holds 100 so what a dream but yeah uh, as you can uh, imagine the price is the same of the same big amount as the trays you can put in so i said no not this time so what i did is wait i will turn the camera around sorry guys just a little i made and i put this in the group somewhere in the group of um Mrs. Crochet and Coffee and, and Rachel Ray, I posted a picture of this and many people said, yeah, this is a, I wouldn't want to try this because I'm clumsy or this is an accident waiting to happen or <laughs> you should take care of the kids and the the cats that they don't knock it over or, and yeah, you're probably right because I'm really, really careful when I take a tray out because I'm always scared that I'm gonna do something wrong and knock the whole thing over uh, so yeah people who made those comments are really right but I thought it's worth the risk I don't want to close and open boxes anymore I'm so tired I want this painting to be over with and done so I found myself too uh boxes those are wine boxes two wine boxes uh and i must say this is very sturdy the cardboard so and then i opened one side i um cut out three equal pieces i glued them in with a glue gun a little bit tilted so that i could be sure that the trays weren't straight but tilted you know those are not tilted but anyway um and i did this and i was i must say i was scared that it would drop so i put something really heavy behind it wait i will get you there you see this is filled with water so to make sure it doesn't bend uh it doesn't drop backwards you see but and then i found the box that's the same size uh like the two wine boxes and said oh my god if i had knew this up front i would just have used this one and put in some cardboards the same way so i will do this maybe later on and my plan is to spice this up a little bit by um, gluing some stickers on. So if you want to take this risk and you think, ah, this might be a good idea for me, go ahead, steal the idea, I don't mind. Um, because it's not my idea to begin with. I think I saw this once in a video of Rachel Ray. She made something out of cardboard just to have like but I said yeah I want something that's tilted so now to show you that it's really I don't know if it would survive an earthquake but I'm right now pushing it backwards and it doesn't fall so that's one thing that's super great it's not falling backwards yay and so if you put it against the wall it won't fall backwards either you just have to be careful when you take out a tray and you put it back in then you have to watch out that's sure and if you sneeze yeah <laughs> if you sneeze that's too bad and look i put the because normally i like to work with those big trays 
but uh, uh, these green boats were easier because one uh, I can fit more boats in the thingy I made and two I can glue on the the symbol in the color of the of the sheet that comes with with it and the number the DMC number so I know um, when I re have to refill the boat which color it is so that's what I made to save me some money <laughs> so now again for the painting so gonna, yeah my biggest colors I always put them in big trays the colors that I use the most but again Oh, this clicking sound, it's so satisfying. And that's why I wanted to share this with people who are not uh, able to buy like this special wax. I would love some special wax. I saw one time that there's one with a sandalwood. No, sandalwood? I would love if, if there was a wax with... Um, the scent of Nakshampa. Do you know that Nakshampa? It's a special type of um, incense uh, sticks that are sold mostly in Indian shops. But the smell, it's so, oh my God, it's like heaven. And if there would be out there somewhere, someone who has wax with that smell, ho oh, oh, I would buy it like direct so yeah you hear now it's losing some of the of the sounds oh no not at all it's just that you have to push if you push so that's what i wanted to share with you in this little piece of video I hope you find whatever works for you in diamond painting and I hope to see you soon in my next video. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe because I will always be trying to find things that work with for diamond painting and things that don't work. Um, so. We can all make our experience better. So, that said, have a wonderful day and hope to see you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.